everybody, JC here from Toy News International, and it's time for another TNI Pop Talk. And today we're going to be talking about Captain America Civil War as well as Star Wars since today is May the 4th. So may the 4th be with you, and let's get on to it. So I've got my Captain America shield here and my mask. I got to see a screening of the movie earlier this week. It comes out this Friday here in the United States. I know a lot of you have already seen the movie overseas. So I'm just going to share some of my thoughts. These are going to be non-spoiler thoughts. I may do a spoiler review later, but um, I'm going to share some of those. Also, I've got some stuff to unbox for you to show off and some letters from, from you, the viewers, that I'm going to read with uh, questions. And then I've got a contest that I'm going to tell you about at the end of the video. Okay, so first of all, Captain America Civil War thought was very good. I really enjoyed it. I did think the story was maybe a little weak, but everything else about it, the action sequences, the fight scenes, seeing all the characters, Spider-Man and Black Panther were great. I, I thought Tom Holland, I, you know, originally in some of the previews, I thought maybe he was going to be a little annoying, but he actually ends up doing a very good job in this movie. So, like I said, the story, a uh, little bit, you know, it's based loosely off the Civil War story by uh, Mark Miller. Just barely, really. Um, doesn't really have a lot to do with that, to be honest. And I thought kind of some of the reasonings for why the motivations of the characters and stuff, I thought kind of fell a little short or a little bit weak. But again, overall, though, I, I was enjoyed throughout the movie, um, mainly just seeing the fight scenes and stuff. Now, I know some of you might be asking, well, you seem to like this movie a lot more than Batman vs. Superman, that you had some of the similar complaints like weak story and stuff. And that is true. That is very true. But I, I would say the reason why this movie, I felt, was much better than Batman vs. Superman is because we're invested in these characters. And this is a point I've made before. Um, Warner Brothers has just kind of thrown these characters in and said, here they are, you know, and, and, and be invested in them because they're Batman and Superman and Wonder Woman and you've grown up years reading the comics. But they took really no time to really kind of establish these characters and build them up, like, and except for maybe Superman, which I didn't really like the direction that Zack Snyder went. But with the Marvel characters, you know, they've taken time. They've built these characters up over the years. So, you know, all these characters you're kind of already invested in, so they don't need to spend a lot of time in this movie establishing that. They can just kind of jump right into it. So that's basically the big difference between a Marvel movie and a DC movie. I, I love both Marvel and DC. I mean, yes, I am a bit more of a Marvel fan than DC, but I still, you know, I really enjoy a good a DC movie um, and, and love the character. So it's not like, oh, I, I'm bashing one for the other. It's just that I think Marvel does a much better job of setting up these characters and getting you invested in them in the movies, not just something you've read in the comics, but in the movies, and then building off of that. Again, though, the storyline, you know, does have some problems, some flaws and stuff, and I'll probably go over that more, like I said, if I do a spoiler review, maybe next week or something, but I definitely want to give you all a chance to see the movie before I do that. But definitely give the movie a thumbs up, a B plus grade, and I think kids and adults will enjoy it thoroughly. And there's, you know, classic humorous moments that Marvel movies are known for. There's a, there's a great cameo scene by Stan Lee in it, and then there are two after credit scenes that you'll want to stay for and, and check out. Okay, so moving on, I've got some letters that I'm going to read from, from you guys and some packages um, to open. So, first of all, the first two packages are from Hasbro. Um, I pretty much know what's in them, but, but I was going to open them up online. Um, so, as I mentioned before, as I'm filming this, today is May the 4th. So, May the 4th be with you. Uh, it's basically Star Wars Day, the official Star Wars Day, May the 4th. And so Hasbro sent out this package, which actually just arrived this morning. Uh, wasn't really expecting this. Um, it's kind. Of, this is shaped like kind of a uh, a weapon case, like you might find a gun or something in. And then obviously it's got the big May the Fourth logo on it. So let's get this open. It's got a little handle. Hasbro always does an elaborate job with their promotional packaging for these things. Um, usually the packaging is better than whatever they send inside. <laughs> Okay, so uh, so we get this poster featuring Ray on the front, and then on the back, it is got basically a listing of their uh, lightsabers, their um, 
blade builder lightsaber. So that's what's inside here. It's a Darth Maul blade builder lightsaber. And this has been out on shelf for a while, so it's nothing we haven't seen before. But, you know, it's kind of cool. Definitely for the kids, mostly. Um, if you want the, uh, you know, something more adult-oriented, you want to go with the Black Series FX ones, uh, like you saw me holding at the beginning of the video. But still kind of cool. Uh, says, May the 4th be with you. Bring your lightsaber to work on Wednesday, May the 4th. So it's kind of a little late now. If you haven't already brought it to work, you're probably not going to. To show every Jedi and Sith your Star Wars spirit. Celebrate on social media and tag photos using st hashtag Star Wars Day. So, basically, you know, that's, that's what this one is. So, again, may the 4th be with you. And if you haven't gone to work, be sure to take your lightsaber with you. Okay, so the second one is a much bigger box. And this one is Captain America Civil War related. Again, this is from Hasbro. So we've got Captain America shield on the front of this box, and you've got Civil War. Uh, nothing much else on the outside of the box. Um, but again, very big. Can't even really get it all on camera here. Now again, I pretty much know what's in here. Uh, pretty much all product that's out on shelf. Um, and more so for the kids than the adult collector here. But you got um, on, on the inner side of the lid, it says, when heroes face hero, or when hero faces hero, whose side are you on? Marvel's Captain America Civil War hits theaters Friday, May 6th, that's this Friday. Gear up for the epic divide between Captain America and Iron Man with this latest action figures, play sets, and role play items from Hasbro. Will you support Steve Rogers and fly alongside Falcon, or stand by Tony Stark and battle next to Black Widow? Show the world where your allegiance lies by posing with your Iron Man or Captain America roleplay accessories and posting photos using hashtag Team Cap or hashtag Team Iron Man. So again, kind of a, a social media promotion thing. So if you got any of these items um, inside. So the inside of the box, and again, these boxes are generally the coolest thing about this. So on one side, I don't know how well I can fit this into the camera, but on one side you've got... Team Iron Man pictured and then on the other side you have Team Captain America and then the inside you can see is packed full of toys so set this down so it's split up into two sides basically so we've got the Captain America side which we have this Captain America role play helmet and again these are all more of the toys that Hasbro's making for the kids not the adult collector no Marvel Legends in here no black or yeah no Marvel Legends or anything like that in here we've got uh, one of the hero series Captain America figures and also this is pretty much everything that's already out on shelves We've got for the two and a half inch line the Captain America headquarters. Now I, they did something similar for the Avengers: Age of Ultron, which I actually thought was really cool. They made three different play sets that you could connect together to form the Avengers Tower. This time they made two separate ones: one for Captain America and one for Iron Man, and they don't really connect with one another. So I wasn't as enthused about these as I, as I was with the Avengers one. But, you know, if you're interested in maybe me doing a review of this, let me know in the comments section. I was debating whether to maybe do it. Again, this is for the two and a half inch scale line, so. And then we've got, uh, let's see, another role play item with Captain America shield. And then we've got some two and a half inch figure two packs. So we've got Scarlet Witch and a black and gold Iron Man. I don't know why they put a black and gold Iron Man, basically a comic book Iron Man in here, but did. Then we've got Crossbones and a Captain America figure. Now, going back to the movie, I, I will say that probably the weakest thing about this movie was the villains. I've got, you know, I won't give anything away, but I was not terribly enthused with, with the way they did Crossbones or uh, the other villain in the movie, which I'm not sure how well it's known who the other villain is, so I won't actually say their name, but most of you probably already know. And then the final one is uh, Black Panther and uh, Hawkeye. So, on the Iron Man side, 
Oh, and we also get this little sheet that uh, shows you um, basically the stuff inside. Okay, so for the Iron Man side, we get a Vision and Winter Soldier 2-pack. We get an Iron Man mask roleplay item. We get uh, the Titan Heroes Iron Man. And on the back, you can see there's Falcon. Actually, I, I like this Falcon figure. I've seen it in the store. It looks pretty cool. I mean, I'm not big into these uh, Titan Hero figures, but the, the Falcon figure definitely looked kind of cool. And then we got War Machine as well. As I mentioned, the Iron Man headquarters replace that for the two and a half inch scale figures. couple more two packs so Falcon and War Machine and Black Widow and Iron Man and then finally one more role play item with uh, Iron Man's repulsor beam which is uh, kind of a I don't know if this is nerf is this nerf yes it's a nerf shoots nerf darts but made to be Iron Man's repulsor blast and that's it it's all stuff out on shelves. Definitely things I think kids will enjoy, young kids will enjoy, which is what these are made for. Um, wish we got some more adult-oriented stuff here, but unfortunately uh, we generally don't because Hasbro's main focus with these, you know, these things go out to all the press and, and, and stuff, things like that for promotional purposes, and, and they really want to push the kids' stuff with this, with this kind of thing. Okay, so I have one more box which I'm going to wait and open at the end it's it's from a reader so I'm not even sure I haven't opened it so I'm not sure what's in there but before I get to that I've got some letters here that I got in the PO box as well as email so I've transferred the letters over here to my iPad so I can just more easily read them and essentially they're just viewer questions so if you want to send a viewer question um, you can send it via my Facebook page or Twitter, you can tweet it to me. Um, I'll have links to those in the video description. I always ask in my videos to follow me on, on Twitter and Facebook because it's easier to communicate with me more directly than say just in a comment section on YouTube. Please do if you haven't already follow me on there. And also I have a PO box that you can send stuff, if, especially I would love to see artwork. Uh, I've gotten a few art pieces from you guys in the past and I love to see that kind of stuff. So if you know you like to draw or whatever and you want me to showcase it, you know, please feel free to send it in. Um, and the P.O. box address is down below. But I've got a couple letters that I picked out. Um, I apologize, I haven't hit up the P.O. box in a while, um, so I don't know how long some of these letters were sitting in there. The emails are more recent. But um, So this first one was a letter um, from Chris, and he writes in and says, I wanted to write in just to say I really love your site, MarvelousNews.com. Thank you very much, Chris. Anyway, I check it often to get the latest Marvel Legends news and have spent hours just looking at images of all the old figures released in your database. Please keep up the good work. I also wanted to ask if you by any chance knew if Hasbro plans on releasing a Civil War Spider-Man figure. So Chris, the answer to the question is I don't know. My guess based on just my experience with Hasbro and their, my dealings with them and their track record, is at some point we will see movie versions of the new Spider-Man. Now, it may not be until next year when the Spider-Man movie comes out as opposed to doing it with the, the Civil War merchandise. I don't know. I've heard different things. But I don't know if there's licensing issues since you know Spider-Man belongs to Sony. If they really can't use Spider-Man for Civil War promotional items, or or what have you. So it it is all possible. We could still see a Spider-Man figure in the actual Civil War line, maybe a Marvel Legends or something. I would love to see that, especially after seeing the movie. Um, definitely would love to see a Spider-Man movie figure. But but if I had to guess, I would say the chances are better, and and you know, I definitely think we'll see a, a movie Spider-Man at some point. It's just really a question of whether it be this year in the Civil War line or next year in the Spider-Man Homecoming line. And my guess is probably next year for the Spider-Man movie. But you know, who knows? Maybe Hasbro will pull something out, and we'll see it at San Diego Comic Con in July. So moving on, the next one. Let's see. This one was another uh, PO box question. 
And I wanted to let you know I really enjoy watching reviews by you, Shardimus Prime and Pixel Dan. I'll be sure to pass that along to those guys on your sites. I'm a big Marvel fan and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and recently started collecting DC collectible figures in large part to your reviews. DC Collectibles has been doing amazing stuff in the past couple years, so I, I don't think you'll be disappointed if you started collecting those. I'm also a big Star Wars fan and was wondering if Hasbro plans on releasing any play sets for the upcoming Rogue One movie. In particular, I would love to see them release a new updated Death Star playset. Thanks, Iron Turtle. Well, Turtle, I can pretty much tell you that there's probably not a fan out there, a toy collector fan out there, who wouldn't love to see an updated Death Star playset. And in years past, I would say that, you know, because it looks like the Death Star is going to be featured in the new Rogue One movie based on the trailer and everything, that there would be possibly a good chance because Hasbro always said in the past, you know, you know, if we had something like a movie, you know, to tie it in and stuff, you know, that would be something that they might do. They definitely, I know, you know, a lot of the guys who work on the Star Wars brand would love to do a, a Death Star playset. Um, but if you kind of follow what Hasbro has been putting out in recent years, you know, even with, you know, The Force Awakens and stuff, you know, I don't think a Death Star playset, or at least any kind of elaborate one, is is likely going to happen. Um, you know, Force Awakens, we really didn't see much in the way of deluxe vehicles or playsets, unless you, you maybe count the six-inch scale TIE Fighter, Force Awakens TIE Fighter they did. But really beyond that, the vehicles, um, they really didn't do any playsets, and the vehicles they put out were much more on the small side. You know, we saw this trend kind of begin with Rebels and, and such. And so, you know, basically to keep costs down and everything, because again, they're primarily making these products, you know, not, not the six inch stuff, but, but the other stuff they're primarily making for kids and parents. And so they're always trying to keep the cost down because prices have risen so high on, on these things to make them. And so my guess again is not likely. I've heard rumors that they're going to do an ad at, but even with that, I doubt it's going to be a re-release of like the big deluxe one that they did a couple years ago. Um, either it's probably going to be that mold or maybe even the Kenner mold stripped down or do something similar like they did with the Millennium Falcon for The Force Awakens and do a smaller version, which I thought had some cool sound effects, you know, features to it with like the hyperdrive. So I actually wasn't that disappointed with it, but you know, you compare it to the to the big Millennium Falcon that they did, or even the Kenner one, you know, the quality isn't quite as good as it was with those. So, to answer your question, I don't know um, that really Hasbro has not revealed anything about their Rogue One plans, but just looking back and seeing what we got with Force Awakens and what we see with other movie lines like the Marvel stuff and, and such, I, I don't think there's very good chance that we're going to see any kind of elaborate Death Star playset. Okay, so the final question here, and this again was sent to me via Facebook. I recently read on ToyNewsEye.com that Hasbro is launching a new mass comic book series. Technically, it's IDW working with Hasbro, but I get your point. And wanted to ask you if they also plan on doing a new updated toy line. I'm all for anything dealing with masks, but think people would rather see new toys over a comic. Joshua. Joshua, I would tend to agree with you. However, and Hasbro is, well, to... I, when we got the news about the comic book series, I contacted Hasbro directly to ask him just that question because I knew it was going to come up from many of you, as it has. And their response was, we have nothing to announce at this time, essentially. So that's not a flat-out denial, um, but it's also not a very good sign. Usually they'll try and tease something, maybe, uh, if they're working on something immediately. Um, so... Again, it's hard to say for sure, but my feeling, again, kind of like I said with the, the play sets and stuff, if you look at Hasbro's track record, um, I don't see them launching a new toy line or relaunching a toy line like Mask unless there's something like a movie backing it up. Now, I know a movie is a possibility. Um, Hasbro is trying to kind of create the cinematic universe like we see with Marvel with many of their brands, including Mask, G.I. Joe, 
Micronauts, ROM. The comics are part of that, so you know it's a, a good sign that we're seeing the comic book. But until an actual movie is green lit, and it, as far as I know, it has not been. Um, Hasbro's still trying to get a third GI Joe movie made, which again, you know, you hear off and on rumors, but I don't think there's anything in the immediate pop, pop pipeline for them to start filming and production and stuff. So, um, you know. I, G.I. Joe is probably a much bigger brand, I mean, than Mask. So if they're having problems getting a G.I. Joe movie made, um, I think Mask is probably not as likely at this point. You know, I could be wrong. This is just my speculation based on my experience. But um, at this point, I'm not holding my breath. Um, but if you do hear at some point that a mass movie is actually coming, I mean official news, not rumors, people, oh, I heard such and such say that, but an actual f official announcement that a mass movie is coming with an actual release date and everything, then I think we will definitely see some kind of toy line. Now, how good it will be as far as collector standards, I don't know. Um, again, we see with a lot of these toys that Hasbro does these days, they're much, they're you know to keep the prices down, they're they're cheaper and you know again geared for kids. So you know the two and a half inch scale Marvel figures and stuff like that. So you know, it could be something like that if we do ever see a mask line. So again, I don't know how deluxe it would be or or what, but um, I would I don't anticipate seeing an actual uh, toy line for Mask unless there's an actual announcement of an actual movie happening with an actual firm release date. Okay, so we got one more package here, so let me dig through these Civil War toys here to get to it. And this is from Nick. So it's just a box. My little trusty survival knife here, so we'll cut this open. I don't usually do these kind of P.O. box box opening things, but I figured since it, this just arrived today, so I knew I was filming this for the Civil War and stuff, so I figured what the heck. So I don't see any kind of letter in here, but the box contains new, uh, looks like, yeah, the new uh, Mattel Ghostbuster figures. There's no letter in here, so I assume, you know, he maybe sent these to me to review. So I'll definitely uh, get a review of these up. I was probably going to do a review of them anyway, so um, saves me from having to hunt them down. So appreciate it, Nick. Um, definitely don't feel like you guys need to send me toys and stuff, um, so don't feel obligated to do that, but certainly I really appreciate the, the thought, so um, look for a review of these. I don't know if I'll do it all as one review or try and split it up into four. I think the coolest thing about these is probably going to be the Build-A-Figure, because this ghost reminds me of the ghost. I don't know if it's supposed to be the ghost. I don't even know if the ghost had a name, but it reminds me of the ghost that you would see walking down the street in the opening for the old cartoon series. So that's what it reminds me of. I think it's supposed to be the villain uh, in the movie, or one of the villains in the movie. Uh, Pixel Dan got that out of Mattel at Toy Fair, I believe. So um, definitely looking forward to that. So thanks for that. Okay, so finally get to the contest. So you guys, you know, you support me, you watch my videos, you send me stuff, write me letters. So I recently hit, uh, broke the 15,000 mark the 15,000 subscriber mark so I've been thinking of something to do kind of fun so what I came up with is pretty simple not gonna make you do a whole lot um, we're gonna get I'm gonna give away a hundred dollar store credit to Big Bad Toy Store and what you have to do to enter is basically you've got to subscribe to the channel which I'm assuming you've probably already done if you're watching this and you've got to like this video and then comment in the comment section you can say other stuff if you want you know share your thoughts or what have you but tell me whether you're team captain america or team iron man so do a hashtag just so i can follow it better to say i'm team with team cap or i'm with team iron man and just comment in this video like this video and make sure you're a subscriber to the channel and you'll be entered into the drawing so we'll give it what is today a wednesday so we'll give it a week so we'll give you till next Wednesday to uh, chime in whether you're Team Cap or Team Iron Man in this video. Like it, 
and be a subscriber to the channel. I actually got a screening of X-Men Apocalypse that I'm going to on Friday. Uh, two Marvel movies in one week. I'm pretty excited, but um, hopefully it's as good. But I'll probably try and share some thoughts about that movie next week as well. So stay tuned for that, and I'll announce the winner in that video. Probably go up either Wednesday or Thursday. Since I'm giving you to uh, Wednesday to comment on the video, then I'll probably have it up on Thursday or Friday of next week. So look for that um, to see if you won or not. And again, a big thanks, 15,000. You know, I know compared to those guys that have 200,000 plus subscribers, 15 is kind of piddly. But believe me, it's not easy. You know, to, you know, in just a couple years, I've been able to build that up. So I'm very proud of that. Um, and hope you guys have liked the videos. I try and improve them as, you know, I started out, you know, lighting wasn't great and everything. So I try and improve that as I go along and, and so forth. So I hope you're enjoying the videos um, and keep supporting the channel and the sites. And until next time, I'll catch you later.